Hello there. Uh, this is a video about my ROV control system. This is pretty much the final version. And so, first off, I designed two circuit boards. This one is the bottom side circuit board. And you can see that uh, on the left here, you can control up to uh, six motors. Went right there. So you just plug in the servo lead from the, the from the motor controller, and then you can plug in it up to six, and you can control them. Then you can plug in a couple servos. I just have a little micro servo here to test. Uh, up to four relays, or you could do some additional sensors. It has onboard power regulation and a long distance serial chip which will communicate using uh, RS-422, 485, good for 1500 meters, so that'll be good. Um, the communication runs over twisted pair. I'm just using some uh, solid core, just some two pair wire. And that goes to my top side board, which uh, connects to the PS2 controller right here. And it also has an LCD display so that you can print sensor values, ROV state, and things like that. And this Arduino right behind it, this one right here, I'm not actually using that, I'm just, I have the PS2 controller breakout there from the extender cable, so that's what that whole mess of wires is. So, go ahead and power on. So, immediately we get there we go. Now we have the motor just booted up, or the ESC booted up, right there. And so the motor's ready to go. Servo's automatically at 90 degrees. We get all the LEDs flashing at 10 hertz, which means no communication. And then the LCD screen says ROV disabled, gear 3. And there's a little problem there on the left because these cables that I'm using to connect it are way too long for what's supposed to be used for an LCD like this. So once I make a custom little pigtail connector, that'll be just fine. Oh, by the way, I'm powering this all off a little 12 volt battery, 8 amp hour, and you can see 12.0 volts right now. Once we start running stuff, it'll drop a little bit, but pretty standard system. So, first thing to do, you hit the start button on the PS2 controller, and then all the LEDs start blinking at 1 hertz, which means good communication. And then on the LCD screen, it changes to ROV enabled. If I press the start button again, disabled. Enabled. And you can also change the gearing Again, it's a little cut off there because of the length of the cables, but that'll be fixed. So, gear 1, gear 2, gear 3. And that cuts the range that the motor will... will the, the range of values that are output to the motor when you move the sticks on the PS2 controller. So, speaking of that, if you move the left stick, we can control forward reverse. You can see the voltage is dropping there a little bit. 11.6, 11.5. It's got a fair bit of torque, too. It's just taped down right now, but uh, it's a pretty good motor. I'll have three of those, two for left and right, one for up and down. Um, so then you can test the servo. The joystick pad you have up and down, left and right, for a tilt pan setup for a camera. So if you want to tilt, right now it's in five uh, degree increments, so you can turn that down, turn it up, but I think that's fine for now. And we can switch the servo over to, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Let's see. We're gonna switch it to the second position connector. And then now you can see we're panning and we could switch the motor between all of those two, but the ESC will get a little unhappy about that. 
And so both these boards also have um, some onboard power filtering. I don't know if, there we go. Some capacitors and voltage regulators. So pretty good setup for 12 volts. Uh, they all are based around the Arduino Pro Mini. Uh, those are all just pretty standard Arduino controllers, but they're very small package and very powerful for what we're doing. So that's my ROV control setup. I have sold some of these, the extra of the bottom side boards. I will be selling the extras of those because you buy them in 10 orders and I only need one. So uh, I will see if I uh, see come up with a price or something for them. And if you guys want them, I mean, let me know. So I think that's it. Um, Please let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.